Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Autokinetic. You know, for the longest time, Tesla was like that one kid in class who finished the exam before everyone else and still had time to doodle spaceships on the paper. While other automakers were figuring out how to plug in a charging port, Tesla was already building an empire. Fast, sleek, silent cars that felt like they were dropped straight from the future. But now that once empty road is getting crowded. The old giants, Ford, GM, even Stellantis, They've woken up and they're not coming to play nice. The question is simple but brutal. What does Tesla gotta do right now to stay king of the US EV world? Because the clock's ticking and the game's changing faster than ever. Tesla still runs the show, make no mistake. It's the name every American thinks of when someone says electric car. You see that sharp T logo on the road and your brain instantly goes, Tesla, the brand power's insane. Add that to their supercharger network their software, and the fact that they can update your car overnight like it's an iPhone. That's legendary stuff. But here's the catch. Legends don't stay on top by standing still. According to recent market data, Tesla's US EV share has dropped to around 38%, the lowest since 2017. That means over 60% of Americans buying EVs are now going elsewhere. And those buyers aren't just going for startups anymore. They're going back to the old names they grew up trusting. GM's dropping Ultium-powered EVs like hotcakes. They've got the Chevy Blazer EV, Silverado EV, Cadillac Lyric, and they're hitting everything from family SUVs to luxury rides. Ford's doing what Ford does best, electrifying America's icons. The F-150 Lightning, the Mustang Mach-E, they're not just EVs, they're emotional plays. The kind of vehicles that scream homegrown power. You might laugh, but emotional branding in the car world, it's rocket fuel. And Tesla, for all its innovation, doesn't play much on nostalgia. That gives legacy automakers a serious home field advantage. Still, Tesla's not exactly out of juice. It's got cards no one else can play yet. Its vertically integrated system, from battery production to software, is light years ahead. Those 4680 battery cells, they're monsters. More efficient, lighter and cheaper to produce. And the supercharger network? Tesla basically built the U.S. electric highway before anyone else could even afford the tolls. Now with other automakers joining that network under the North American charging standard, Tesla's shaping the future of how America charges its cars. That's not just smart, that's empire building. But here's the flip side. Tesla's tech edge is getting thinner by the day. The other guys are catching up, not just in production but in innovation too. GM's Ultium system is modular and flexible. Ford's pushing over-the-air updates like it's second nature now. What used to make Tesla stand out is slowly becoming industry standard. And when your special source starts tasting familiar, you need a new recipe. That's where the next move matters most. Tesla's got to expand its lineup fast. The Model 3 and Model Y still dominate, but the market's shifting. Americans want choices. They want EV trucks, affordable compacts, stylish crossovers, and not everyone can shell out 50 grand for one. Ford and GM understand this game. They've lived off variety for decades. Tesla's rumored $25,000 car. If that thing becomes real, it could flip the market upside down. But if it's delayed too long, GM and Ford will own that price segment. America loves value, and Tesla can't win every household with premium pricing forever. And let's talk about perception, something Tesla often forgets. When you're the rebel, everyone roots for you. But when you're the giant, everyone watches for cracks. Lately, some U.S. owners have been complaining about service delays, panel gaps, and software bugs. They're not deal-breakers, but they chip away at Tesla's image. Ford and GM, on the other hand, have decades of service networks and trust built into every corner of America. That small-town dealership energy? It matters more than people think. If Tesla wants to keep U.S. loyalty, it needs to beef up service, not just speed up deliveries. And then there's pricing pressure. Tesla's been cutting prices like crazy to keep up with competition. Great for consumers, but brutal for margins. It's a double-edged sword. You win buyers but lose profit. Meanwhile, legacy automakers know how to scale profitably. They've spent a century mastering volume manufacturing. Tesla's got to figure out how to play that game without losing its innovative soul. Maybe that's where the next phase comes in. Ecosystem expansion. See, Tesla's future isn't just about cars, it's about energy. Solar roofs, power walls, battery storage, robo-taxis, ride-sharing, that's the Tesla vision. 
it's not just about driving. It's about living inside the Tesla ecosystem. The car isn't the product anymore. It's the gateway. If Tesla can double down on that ecosystem in the U.S., connecting homes, power, and transport, it won't just sell EVs, it'll sell lifestyles. And that's something Ford and GM can't easily replicate. But that long game only works if the short game doesn't fall apart. Tesla's got to nail the next-gen affordable EV, stabilize quality control, and show investors that profit and innovation can coexist, because the old dogs from Detroit are coming hard. They're not startups bleeding cash anymore. They're efficient, disciplined, and fueled by decades of experience. GM's aiming to outsell Tesla in EVs by the late 2020s, and Ford's not far behind. Tesla can't underestimate that. Now let's get predictive. If Tesla plays it right, launches the affordable model by 2026, expands its battery tech lead, integrates the energy ecosystem tighter, and improves service quality, it could still hold around 35% of the US EV market by 2030. That's down from its peak, sure, but still top of the game. If it slips, though, delays the new model, botches the robo-taxi rollout or faces major quality issues, we're talking a slide to 20% or lower. Not extinction, but no longer dominance. And that's not just guesswork, and analysts have been saying it too. A GLG automotive study called this decade the Great EV Normalization. It's when Tesla stops being the EV brand and becomes one of the car brands, the playing field levels. The winner will be whoever offers the best mix of value, reliability, tech and trust, not just hype. Ford and GM have the trust. Tesla has the tech. The next five years will decide which one matters more to Americans. One big wildcard, autonomy. If Tesla can actually deliver on its full self-driving dream, like real regulatory approved driver out of seat autonomy, that changes everything. Imagine turning your car into a robo taxi that makes you money while you're asleep. That would blow the legacy automakers out of the water. But the risk? Over promising. US regulators are watching closely, and if Tesla stumbles on safety or ethics, that dream could crash faster than a bad beta test. So, yeah, Tesla's got to tread carefully, innovate boldly, but stay grounded. And let's not forget the legacy guys have their own tricks. Ford's Blue Cruise and GM Super Cruise are getting really good. By 2027, semi-autonomous driving might be standard on half the cars sold in the US. So Tesla can't rely on being the only one who does it. It needs to make sure its version still feels years ahead, smoother, safer and cooler to use. Another key battleground, manufacturing cost and supply chain. The future's going to be won by whoever builds faster and cheaper in America. Tesla's already pumping cars out of Gigafactory Texas, but GM and Ford have multiple domestic plants retooled for EVs. They know supply chain resilience. Tesla's got to keep vertical integration tight, build more in the US, reduce logistics costs and secure those battery materials. Because when competition scales, price becomes war. You can already feel it. The next phase of the EV revolution isn't about who invented it first, it's about who can make it practical for everyone. And for Tesla, that means getting closer to the American middle class again. Not just the tech crowd, not just the early adopters, but the everyday family trading in their gas SUV for something electric, affordable and dependable. If Tesla wins their hearts, it wins the decade. So what does Tesla need to do right now? Keep innovating like crazy. Expand the lineup. Lower costs, polish the service, double down on energy integration, and keep the brand relatable. People still want the cool factor, but they also want convenience and reliability. And most of all, they want to feel like Tesla is for them, not just for tech bros and billionaires. If Tesla can balance all that, the heart, the tech, the trust, it stays ahead. If not, well, Detroit's engines might not roar anymore, but they're still loud enough to shake the ground. And when 2030 rolls around, the road ahead will be split into two stories. The one where Tesla became the apple of cars and rewrote the industry forever, or the one where the old guard caught up and the rebel became just another brand. The next five years will decide which story we end up telling. So yeah, buckle up, folks. The EV war's just getting started. And no matter who wins, the future of American roads is going to be silent, fast and electric as hell.